Hi, my name is Dario and today I will present a joint work by University College Cork and Faculty of Electrical Engineering Sarajevo by the name Beyond Throughput, the next generation of 5G dataset with channel and context metrics. This work is supported by Science Foundation Ireland and European Regional Development Fund. If we look at the current trends, we can observe that there are currently billion connected devices in the world. It is estimated that these numbers will reach 75 billion by 2025. Of course, it goes without saying that these devices are connected through the wireless channel, putting a higher requirements on the mobile communication systems. Along this, there is a huge growth in the multimedia traffic, ranging from applications such as video on demand, live streaming and 360 degree video and this all brings us to our final point that in order to support these services and applications mobile communication systems need to provide a high bandwidth and low latency now this brings us to the uh, fifth generation cellular network or simply called 5g 5g promises just that high rates and low latency in 5G, rates can go up to 1 gigabit per second, uh, with latency around 1 millisecond. While these numbers can seem uh, high enough, we need to put that into the perspective. To give an example, a 24K 360-degree video with 120 frames per second can consume several gigabits per second. Also, as users can change field of view, and in order not to experience motion sickness, latency during the transition needs to be less than 20 uh, milliseconds. Also, uh, 5G provides connectivity or promises connectivity for tens of thousands of devices in order to support future Internet of Things and Internet of the Vehicle paradigms. However, we ask ourselves, in practice, can current 5G deployment support these claims? This neatly brings us to our own work. Next, uh, we present our production 5G dataset. Our dataset is collected in a production mobile operator 5G network, capturing throughput, latency, and channel condition. Uh, dataset is collected with two mobility patterns: static, which is mostly uh, collected indoor, and driving, uh, mostly coll uh, collected during the commute uh, routes. Uh, we use two different download patterns: uh, I would say classical file download. Uh, and also streaming using popular VOD streaming services. Uh, finally, we supplemented uh, our production data set uh, with synthetic data set generated from the large scale of 5G NS3 simulation. For the data set collection, we used GNET Track app running in the background and logging all the uh, features which we'll mention in the uh, next slide. Uh, as the mobile device, uh, we use Samsung S10 uh, 5G with support for the sub-6 uh, GHz uh, range. Uh, each record is, collect, is uh, collected with one second granularity. For the test applications, uh, we use file download with 200 megabyte uh, file and uh, we streamed uh, using uh, Netflix and Amazon Prime applications. Uh, finally, these tra all traces are collected over the period of several months. Our dataset includes following information, throughput including uplink and downlink, latency including ping information such as average ping, minimum and maximum ping, uh, standard deviation and loss, channel metrics such as CQI, SNR, RSRQ, RSRP and RSSI, and context metrics. GPS coordinates, velocity and state. Uh, state uh, meaning the idle or active, does the client downloading or not, which is uh, important especially for the uh, VOD applications and in order to recognize the on-off periods. Next, we compare 5G dataset with our previously collected 4G dataset. To offer a fair comparison, we only compare traces from the same mobile operator and with the same mobility pattern. As expected, 5G allows higher rates with up to 50% increase for the average throughput in the case uh, for the static scenario. However, for the driving scenario, uh, 
the average throughput increased only by 27 percent uh, and the main reason for this minor improvement and the minor is in quotes is the lack of the 5g base stations across all driving routes forcing the device to use uh, 4g base stations also what is impressive is that the peak rate that we measured was up to 532 megabit per second which is basically almost halfway through the promised uh, one uh, gigabit per second range next we compare performance between different application types intuitively continuous file download has the highest average throughput as shown in the table also we can look at the relationship between CQI and application throughput as shown in the figure. Uh, figure shows the range of throughput values for each CQI separately. Overall, we observe an increasing trend in throughput proportional to CQI. However, the range of throughput values oscillates significantly different for each CQI. To give an example, for the Amazon Prime, uh, lower bitrate results in similar throughput rates across all CQI values. Now, the streaming services download segments only during the uh, on phase, which is the buffer filling phase, uh, and also bandwidth demand is limited by the maximum quality of encoded video content. And this can be seen if you look at the Netflix and Amazon Prime. Overall, for the net, Netflix consumes significantly more bandwidth than the Amazon Prime for both mobility patterns as a result of the higher encoding quality and thus larger segment size. In nutshell, VOD, in general VOD consumes significantly less bandwidth which comes from the uh, prim primarily uh, on-off behavior. As for our simulation framework, uh, it is based on the MWAV module written for the uh, NS3 network simulator. Similar to our production data set, it also provides the features already mentioned in the previous uh, slide. Uh, unlike our production data set, this is more la large scale uh, data set consisting up to 20 inodbs and collecting information from over 20 users per inodb. Uh, and also, unlike our client side uh, metrics collected in real network, uh, the simulation framework also allows collect capturing the network side metrics. As the dataset provides different information uh, regarding the throughput uh, channel and context uh, metrics, there are various use cases uh, for such a dataset. Uh, and they range uh, from different fields, ranging from the machine learning, networking, research and development. And some of the use cases are depicted here in this table. To conclude, uh, in our work we provided a 5G production, production data set consisting of client-side metrics including throughput, channel measurement and context uh, information collected in the real 5G uh, network. We also supplemented our data set with a simulation 5G uh, framework allow, which allows large-scale multi-cell evaluation. Thanks for listening and if you have any question, please feel free to contact us. Uh, the our contact information is provided uh, on the slide. Thanks.